hello my dear students welcome to my youtube channel here we are not going to learn a design by just following steps but we are actually understanding what about the concept of designing what about the forces acting on particular element of structure and for what forces we are going to design right so before we proceed you have to tell me for how many forces we have to design a beam so we have to design a beam for shear force as well as for bending moment or you can say the flexor right so right now we are going to design a wrc beam for flexor shear design we will see later on okay so let's start so this is about the data of beam fck fy the dimension of beam is 300 by 300 okay and the moment or you can say the applet moment is 87 kilo newton into meter right now this is about the nominal cover requirement according to the exposure condition as per given in is 456 code right and this one is the exo max by d for uh, it given in is per given in is 456 right now let's start let us calculate effective depth first right so oral depth is 300 so let us assume the cover is say 55 so effective depth that is equal to oral depth minus cover so our effective depth is 245 right now for yesterday is equal to 500 x o max by d is 0.46 right so this one is 0.46 now let us calculate what about the maximum moment of resistance right so the maximum moment of resistance that is equal to stress into area right this one is the stress 0.36 of ck into ku max that is equal to stress into area b into d square into the lever arm that is equal to 1 minus 0.42 ku max right so let us put all the values right and d this d that is the factive depth so putting all the values we will get the moment of resistance is say 448.11 kilo newton into meter but what about our moment a moment or you can say the applied moment is 87 so the moment of resistance is less than the applied moment in this case we have two practical solutions not a practical only one is practical solution see either you can incre increase the depth of beam or you can provide the compression reinforcement now you have to tell me what about the practical solution definitely the option two is the practical solution you have to provide the compression reinforcement to resist the additional moment right so let us see how it is okay so let here the total moment that is equal to mu1 that is the maximum moment of resistance or you can say the moment of resistance for the balance section and mu2 that is the additional moment that beam i uh, have to take right so here mu mu1 that is equal to moment maximum moment of resistance and mu2 that is equal to the total mu that is uh, minus mu1 that is the maximum moment of resistance so the applied moment is 87 and the maximum moment of resistance that is equal to or due to the balance section so we have this 48.11 due to the balance section right so that this one is the additional moment that beam have to take right so for this additional moment we are going to design a beam right st1 that is the area of tension reinforcement for the balance section right st2 that is equal to the area of tension reinforcement for the remaining moment right and here asc that is the that is equal to the area of compression reinforcement for the additional moment and let us calculate all this right so here is t1 that is equal to maximum moment of resistance divided by 0.87 fi multiply by the lever arm right so putting all the values this one is maximum moment of resistance our fi is 500 d that is equal to factive depth and x max is calculated over here it is x max is equal to 0.46 into 245 that is equal to our effective depth is equal to 112.7 okay the value is 112.7 and area of tension reinforcement for the balance section that is equal to 559 mm square right now let us calculate ast2 that is equal to additional moment divided by stress into d minus this cover dc that is the that is for the compression reinforcement right so this one is our additional moment 38 
एफ आई इज इज स्ट्रेस एंड डी सी दैट इज इक्वल टू द कवर टू द कॉम्प्रेशन एन्फोर्समेंट एंड डी दैट इज इफेक्टिव डेफ्थ राइट सो ए एस टी टू दैट इज इक्वल टू फोर थर्टी सेवन एम एम स्क्वेयर नाउ लेट एस कैलकुलेट द कॉम्प्रेशन एन्फोर्समेंट द कॉम्प्रेशन एन्फोर्समेंट दैट इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट एटी सेवन एफ आई इन टू ए एस टी टू अपन एफ एस सी नाउ वॉट इज एफ एस सी दैट इज द स्टेस इन स्टील इन कॉम्प्रेशन दैट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट बाई दिस इक्वेशन राइट डी सी दैट इज द कवर टू द कॉम्प्रेशन एनफोर्समेंट एंड एक्सोम एक्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेटेड ओवर हियर सो वॉट वी गॉट दैट इज इक्वल टू फोर फिफ्टी टू एम एम स्क्वेयर राइट बट वी हैव एन कंडीशन दैट स्ट्रेस इन स्टील इन कॉम्प्रेशन दैट शुड बी लेस देन पॉइंट एटी सेवन एफ आई सो लेट एस सी वेदर इट इज देयर और नॉट सो पॉइंट एटी सेवन एफ फाइव इन टू फोर वन फाइव बट द वैल्यू इज थ्री सिक्सटी वन एंड वी आर गेटिंग मोर देन दैट ओके सो वी हैव टू एडोप्ट दिस नाउ राइट सो पुटिंग दिस सॉरी एडोप्टिंग दिस वैल्यू वी वी गॉट ए एस सी इज इक्वल टू फोर थर्टी सेवन एम एम स्क्वेयर राइट पुटिंग ऑल द वैल्यूज ओवर हियर पॉइंट एटी सेवन इन टू एफ आई इन टू ए एस टी टू वी हैव ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेटेड हियर डिवाइड बाई थ्री सिक्सटी वन राइट पॉइंट एटी सेवन एफ आई सो This is about the area of compression reinforcement, right? So here we have uh, calculated the area of reinforcement for tension side as well as for compression side. So the total tension reinforcement that is equal to A S T one plus A S T two, and this one is compression reinforcement, right? Hope my dear student is this clear. Still, you have any doubt, any question, you can mail me as well as you can share a comment and. Please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you thank you dear for watching